So you join me here in my Focus RS edition. And yeah, as of this point, I have not driven the M365, the, um, the Focus ST Mark 4.5 facelift. Super looking forward to it. But for this part, I just kind of want to compare it to this car. Um, so I'm going to take this for a little drive. And um, you kind of know all about it and around the same roads and then go out for a drive in the, yeah, the track pack ST, but it's got 365 brake horsepower. That makes a huge difference. So I'm super looking forward to it. Obviously, if you're not familiar, my Focus RS edition is Revo Stage 2, 440 horsepower, four wheel drive, plenty of fun, really, really good. And yeah, as that loud thing goes past and that loud thing, <laughs> good timing, eh? Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to get in this, give it a bit of, have a bit of fun around these roads. And then obviously when the track pack arrives, yeah, I'll give a decent review of that, which you would have seen on the channel already, but then I'll do a good comparison comparing it to this. Cause is that worthy of an RS, you know, or is this the last one that we'll ever see? That's the thing. I mean, yeah, I think the track pack is going to be really interesting, particularly the, 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 the tires with the extra power now as well. I have driven a track pack, but I haven't driven the, the 365 mound tune one. And yeah, and see where it kind of goes to on that. But looking forward to this. So yeah, let's step in for a drive and let's uh, let's see what this RS edition is like just before driving the M365 track pack. <laughs> So let's start the Focus RS up. Now I'm really looking forward to driving this M365, I've got to say, it's super exciting. I'm very familiar with this kind of area, very familiar with the roads. Um, but this car's had a few like, a few little mods to it, um, a little bit more than say the M330 car that I have driven. <laughs> oh man, this car's so much fun. Um, so, that's going to be the big thing. Obviously, front wheel drive compared to four wheel drive is always going to be a big thing. Can it handle the power? But yeah, I guess we'll find out. I'm just in the normal mode. Mine's got a mount tune exhaust. That car does have an exhaust on it as well, which is should be interesting. It's like a GPF delete. It's how it gets all the power. It's just the way the airflow works. Yeah, this car always puts a smile on my face, as you know, if you're familiar with the channel. I've owned it for now, coming up to nearly six months, actually. And we're filming this in sort of May 2020, um, May 2020, May 2023. See, I'm just too excited. Um, I'm super interested to know how it's going to feel sort of suspension wise. Um, obviously that's on the track pack suspension, which is KW. So it's, you know, a little bit stiffer, but there's so many different settings and variations. And obviously this is different from the owner that I've out with before. So I really am just completely in the know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, this car is fun. I've just had about an hour and a half drive up here. You know, it's not so easy on the motorway. It can get just a bit, a bit too bouncy. And that's what's really gonna concern me about the track pack. Is it kind of like livable as well as really fun? That's the thing. And I have actually found out, and I'll put it on screen actually, because I'm not sure I've mentioned it enough, that basically the, um, the, tra the track pack is essentially the ST edition of the original Mark IV, but now it's obviously a Mark V, Mark 4.5 facelift. In fact, it even says it in the little manual around the KW um, suspension, the coilovers or the Ford Performance suspension. So that's basically what that is about. But yes, I find this car plenty fun. It is usable, just about. <laughs> um, and it's quick just so much traction but it does have a bit of a you know i've met up with a couple of youtubers recently as well who lots of experience in driving cars and it's got a bit of like veering steering and it is a bit skiffy on the road um hey don't get me wrong it's a it's a unbelievably fun car and a car i'm so grateful to own and so grateful to experience um but yeah, obviously times have changed and to get into like a 2023 car is obviously pretty cool. But it's kind of got to work. It's got to work for a lot of different kind of like circumstances and events and those kind of things. So, you know, can it? It probably can. Being the fact that it is an ST, listen, it's not a full, lot, a full fat RS. It's just an ST. So that's going to be the interesting part. ST turned up to almost an RS. <laughs> um, 
maybe. Well, I, I absolutely love the original track pack. <laughs> so with more power, can it handle it? All these kind of things, it's interesting. So let's just tick, tick all this into sport mode. Um, just makes it a little bit more. I mean, speed wise, I don't think there's gonna be much in it now. Particularly as I'm pretty confident that car's gonna weigh a little bit less than this four wheel drive car. Apologies if you can't hear me, I'm on the back end of recovering from a cold, and yeah, the car's quite loud. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what to think at this stage. I'm really excited to get in really in depth on the M365, and that's what my main video is gonna be about. This one is literally gonna be yeah, kind of exploring it and really thinking about the comparisons between the RS because, yeah, that Ford aren't going to make another RS, you know, it's just not going to happen, which is a shame. But hey, we've still got this ST track pack, we've still got companies like Mountune who can do work, and to you know, 365 brake horsepower is a lot, particularly for a front wheel drive car, which is why you know it's quite clear, it's not too cold, nine degrees, it's sang in the car. So tyres, once they get up to temperature, those uh, P0 courses, it should be interesting. You know, relatively wide rubber for a hatch, I suppose. See, look at this car. So on the 19 inch wheels, it just, yeah. See, I don't like that. It's, this really hasn't got the control that I would like. But yeah, that's how a car makes you feel is arguably more important than how fast it goes. You know, both these cars are quick. Both these cars are quick stock. 350 horsepower stock and uh, 280 stock from the, the Focus SD track pack facelift. Um, but, hey, manufacturers often uh, leave a little bit on the table. They both got the 2.3 EcoBoost, so, you know, hey, this, this application, it obviously works at the speed that it's at with 440. <laughs> I'm interested to know what the noise is going to be like because oh, a few bangs in this, I don't know how much you can hear it but yeah, I'm interested to know the noise of a brand new latest car and what that's going to be like too but shall we just get on with it shall we see this track pack M365 and take it from there really looking forward to this. I should be super excited to try it out and super excited to compare it to my RS edition. And yeah, well, let's see what this thing's all about, shall we? You join me with a Mark 4.5 facelift M365 Mount Tune track pack. So I'm super excited to drive this car, super excited to check it out. It's in mean green. Let's go for a walk around this car. Let's take it for a really good drive. I've driven a track pack before, I've driven a Mark 4.5 before, I've driven an M330 before, but I've not driven them all kind of put together. Um, this is kind of the latest of the latest. The car's only had about 1,100 miles on it. Um, really looking forward to trying it out. This car's had a lot of work done on it, not just a tune. And yeah, just to get a good, better feel for this car. straight away let's actually see what this is like I love the noise like <laughs> got the owner next to me we'll just laugh the whole time um, oh wow that feels really good okay yeah first impressions are looking quite promising That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. <laughs> and it sounds it sounds really good from the outside. We're saying when we it's just like it's like just because sound cars are so sort of like soundproof now. Oh, it makes a huge difference. It works. 
so well with the brakes and then the suspension. Yeah, within like 30 seconds, I'm like sold. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> end the video now. <laughs> it's really good. It's so much talk. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> a talk. I mean, I'm like like two and a half thousand to four thousand RPM in third, and it's like. I get one because I, I like the latest stuff and the, my Mark 3 is obviously quite a bit older. Suspension feels right and I, I think you're right because I know you can adjust it to make it really low and really slammed but leave it what it's like in the factory I think they obviously know best. We've got the, the auto blip for me yes it will so I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna ruin the clutch on a told me genuinely 100% now that this was an RS I wouldn't be sitting I wouldn't be standing here going oh yeah you know you're having me on it feels like yeah it feels like the engineers it's the same engineers at the end of the day at Ford Performance kind of doing this stuff they've really gone kind of all out to kind of make this car um, and then Mountune have just sort of yeah opened it up and unlocked the potential of it and um, the track pack suspension works really well the brakes are just like supersonic i mean it's just it's unreal the size of these discs and how well they stop um the the extra noise from the exhaust and from the induction kit really improves it this is you know it's a 2023 car and it's sounding really really good i think if i mean the short shift is really great as well i think if i was being the only little thing and i did say this to the owner i would say a quaif diff personally i I think it needs it at the front end just because it's so capable now just to have like stop a bit of wheel hopping really get the power down really pull it around those corners you know plenty of twisties we were going around 
that just because it's really capable with the tires the pirelli p0 courses with the track pack suspension with the brakes with the extra power with the noise it's like that's literally the last little bit um, but that was only really when you're pushing on if you're not pushing on as much it's fine um, this car can then go down to sort of normal focus docile mode it's just amazing last fast forward last best fast forward now this is this is there if you're gonna do it go all out and this owner has and yeah absolutely should have no regrets what a car what an amazing car and yeah subscribe Pl plenty more content to come